Some of my best ideas are actually when I'm offline, I'm not playing golf. That got a patent and a paper of nature around the golf. Hi, I'm Colin Raston. I'm a professor in clean technology at Flinders University. And, and the focus of the research I do is about developing processes and products that are going to make a difference to sustainable development of the planet. The Vortex Fluidic Device. This, is, this was a device I put together as an idea, as a concept on a 15 hour flight from LA to Sydney, trying to solve a certain problem to be able to do things under flow and to scale up as much as you can scale down using small volumes. Took the plans when I got back to the lab, um, and took it to the workshop and they built the first device. When we got the first result, there was like a feeding frenzy in the research group to get onto this new device, so immediately we had to build uh, another one. But very quickly we realised that this is a game changer for many areas. My name is Dr. Kastri Vinvanathan and I work at the College of Science and Engineering in the Raston Lab. The idea is to develop methods that are environmentally and economically sustainable. Uh, we try to avoid the use of toxic chemicals. We try to um, reduce the amount of energy we use, uh, reduce the amount of waste that is generated. And we then study the properties of these carbon materials and leverage these properties for a diverse range of applications. So one of the discoveries with the VFD is the ability to slice carbon nanotubes. Now carbon nanotubes are one of the highest, the strongest, highest tensile strength materials you can get. Carbon nanotubes are used in a diverse range of applications. On a nanoscale level, it looks like spaghetti. So it's all bundled up, it's held together by very strong forces. But to be able to actually um, use it in an application, you need to cut it. How it's typically cut is they use toxic chemicals, so acids. So you need really harsh chemicals to be able to break a material that is 100 times stronger than steel. So being in the green chemistry space, Colin said, oh, can we try and fix this problem? Why would you want to slice a carbon nanotube in a clean way? Uh, this has got application in drug delivery because it's, it's hollow, you can put things inside, you can put things on the outside, so it's got machinery to go around and deliver drugs in, in the body. So we used the VFD to debundle them. So we found that the higher shear stress, so by spinning it really fast, we were able to debundle it and get single strand nanotubes. And then came the problem of, okay, how do we cut it? So then we sat down and said, Colin said, oh, shall we try a laser? If you now have a pulse laser, which is a near-infrared laser, putting in vibrational energy into this carbon nanotube, so all the atoms are vibrating away and there's so much energy there, when you bend it, you actually break one bond and you just snap it straight through. So you can do this slicing of carbon nanotubes without adding any chemicals, any toxic chemicals. So now you can imagine these carbon nanotubes being incorporated into devices in your iPhone computers, etc. So this is part of the bigger picture of, of marching towards uh, technology where it's just all carbon based. So it's not using toxic metals and in some cases metals that are running out. It's a really good example of clean technology. I mean, the number of applications of the VFD is, is just rapidly uh, growing. Not a week goes past without realizing there's yet another big ticket mm. item. The unboiling of the egg, this, this was um, breakthrough science. People had talked about, in principle, you should be able to unboil an egg if you can figure out a way of actually getting some energy in there to, to, to take the, the proteins that have been incorrectly folded and then correctly fold the protein, then that's the unboiling of the egg. As simple as it is. <laughs> We are gathered here tonight to honor some remarkable individuals and groups. Every winner has done something that first makes people laugh and then think. Winning the Ig Nobel Prize was, uh, and it was a career highlight, there's no doubt about it. And yes, these guys have unboiled an egg, so everyone has a laugh, but then there's a realization, hey, they've got the technology that can refold proteins, could, that can revolutionize the, the protein the pharmaceutical industry in a big way. So we have the last laugh. 
Colin, um, what can I say? Um, he's amazing actually, that's one word I can use for Colin. He's very enthusiastic about what he does. And what is good about him is that he's um, very, very supportive. This morning we had this conversation where I said, you know, it's your hard work has paid off. And he said, oh, I wouldn't say it's hard work. You know, I enjoy every moment of it. Um, and I think that's, that's the key to his success is because he really loves what he does. He's so passionate about it. He doesn't look at it as a job. Science is my passion. And I've got other interests as well, like photography and playing the guitar. I've been playing the guitar now for just over five years. I hadn't played a musical instrument before, but for my 60th birthday, my wife gave me this amazing guitar, Johnny Cash style guitar. She could see that I was sort of interested in music and you know, maybe Johnny Cash music at that and uh, it's been it's been hard to learn half an hour guitar every night no exceptions and, and that's that's my approach and it's it seems to have worked <laughs> Desley has been very inspirational she's my soulmate and we do lots of amazing things um, not a scientist but she used to come to lectures if I can explain something um, to Desley about my science, and she gets it, that means I can take it to the wider community. And um, if she doesn't get it, she'll tell me to go and get my act together. <laughs> it's an amazing relationship. There's a lot of things I, I want to do, but, but, but doing this, um, this research is keeping me, um, keeping me busy. I want to make a difference. I want to you know, mentor the, the, the next generation. It's always about being positive and wanting to make a difference. It's, I think it's made me who I am actually. But, but you, just, you have to be positive. The moment you're not positive, well, it doesn't work.